Have you ever wondered what it's like to be a sports insider? Why not learn from the best? Today, we have an exclusive backstage pass with Bleacher Report at Caesars Palace. Let's go take a look. I know nothing about sports. This set's really pretty though. How are you, Joe? Oh, I'm great, thanks for having me. And just so that you can tell me, walk me through what a typical day is like in your position. What does that entail? Uh, it, well, this is very much a startup, so uh -huh. every day is quite Busy. different. So sometimes creative, sometimes production, sometimes strategic. What was the decision or the mitigating factor for you to wind up in Las Vegas, and how was, was there ever a choice of anything but Nevada? I, I think uh, it really came down to the explosion of sports betting. So it was a natural partnership between one of the leading global members in the space in Caesars and Bleacher Report that has a very young, social, mobile, progressive audience. We had an opportunity to really plant a flag on the ground and become known. I'm with arguably the busiest person in the Nevada production community. <laughs> Um, tell me about all the things that take place at all of your properties. Uh, we've had a really busy few, few months. We had Live with Kelly and Ryan out at Paris for four shows. We had the talk out at Flamingo. We have this studio going all the time. We have our sound stage going all the time. We're building a studio across the street for another sports outlet. And what are your thoughts on Bleacher Report being here and how it fits with the Caesars brand and why, why does that make sense? We love Bleacher Report. I mean, it, Bleacher Report is fresh, it's young, it's hip. They do great things. They do really creative things in the space. They're really reaching an audience that um, as Las Vegas as a whole, I think is really trying to get our hands into, right? It's a younger audience. It's a incredibly sports engaged audience. And in this era where sports gaming is gonna go, hopefully um, beyond Las Vegas, it's a great place for us to be. And it's a great partnership for us to have. And it's been a lot of fun. The basis of betting is really, it's sports challenges. You know, can someone do X or Y? Can one team win? Can one team score so many points? The idea of turning some of that challenge-based content into an interactive game show is really exciting to us. So using the term betting adjacent, whereas we're not just hitting people over the head with pure betting information, but we're introducing them to the concepts of betting, we're making them feel more comfortable in that environment, and we're kind of laying breadcrumbs. As legalization increases, we can in introduce our audience and make them feel more comfortable in mainstream in the topic and category. Give me a tip. Can you, are you allowed to give me any tips, points, or the spread? What should I do? I don't know uh, anything about this. I would say don't bet parlays. Okay. Uh, while they are exciting to our audience to see someone bet $5 and win 10000 uh -huh. it's very much like a lottery ticket. Got it. Yeah, you're better off picking one side, rooting for it, and your odds are increased. You hear that, Dad? Don't do a parlay. All right, thanks a lot, Joe. Oh, thanks, thanks for so your much. time. Thanks really so much for it. having me. <laughs> Take care.